The Cube presents Dell Technologies World, brought to you by Dell. Good morning, welcome to day two of The Cube at Dell Technologies World, live from the Venetian in Las Vegas. Lisa Martin with John Furrier and Dave Nicholson. Guys, a lot of momentum yesterday, the vibe was amazing. We think there's about 8,000 people here. Announcements yesterday, a lot going on with multi-cloud, with partners, yeah. with customers. John, we got Michael Dell coming on in just about yeah. 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, the keynote's getting out, people are starting to come in. You can see them uh, flowing through the hallway. Michael Dell will be on in about 15 minutes and we're going to ask them every year when they have theCUBE here, we're going to tap a room with questions around digital transformation, security's the hot thing obviously here, data, and what's up with Dell, so we'll see what, what he's going to say. We had some really good interviews yesterday. We, we had customers on, we had partners, and the, the overall sentiment was people are very excited about, I mean, the momentum that Dell is coming off of from FY22 of first time hitting north of, a, of 100 billion first time in the company's history, the partner ecosystem expanding, what their acknowledgement that multi-cloud is here, yeah. the, the vibe was good, the, the partners are excited, a lot of opportunity. Yeah. I mean, I think the big thing story here this year is that you know, VMware's not part of Dell Technologies world, although there is some stuff to kind of connect them together in terms of ownership, but it's still now on its own, so that's, that's a key um, development that's happened since we were last in here in person. But the digital transformation train continues to go down the tracks and it's getting better and better and better in terms of what is happening, but there's still more complexity at the edge, that's something that's important, and security more than ever is important on a global stage, but also the cyber attacks are going up. Ransomware is, has essentially become so standard, everyone needs a, a solution, so everyone's pivoting to endpoint protection, zero, zero trust, and um, ransomware has been, you see the storage vendors go that way, so that's a big trend, uh, a lot of people going there, and they need it too, because ransomware is very dangerous, so, and then obviously cyber all over the world is, is huge, so, you know, Dell plays a role in that, they allow, a lot of gear and, and I think the edge story is developing nicely. Yeah, you talk about ransomware. I was reading some stats recently that there's one attack every 11 seconds that organizations now, it's not a matter of are we going to get hit, it's when. Yeah. And yeah. I think I read a stat the other day that said 75% of organizations will be hit by at least one cyber attack by 2025, which is around the corner. So security is that board level front and center conversation yeah. and we saw a lot of that with what they were announcing just yesterday alone. Yeah, and to me the cybersecurity issue is just also a political one. Uh, the adversaries can play with open source and the threats are real, the threat vectors are increasing, and there's no perimeter, as everyone knows that, in security, and you start to see data being protected. So now you got data protection is changing. That's big for Dell, you know, they have huge, a footprint of disaster recovery and data protection. And so that becomes a really key point for protecting the data in flight. Uh, data engineering is a hot trend. So data as code has become huge. You're seeing that in, in all the digital applications, the role of data is becoming more and more. Absolutely, we talked a lot, Dave, about edge yesterday, and especially particularly in retail, and a lot of the massive transformation and the pressure that retail is under. You know, as consumers, we bring this, we want the online experience in the connected store, and so they talked a lot about what they're doing with respect to edge at the retail yesterday and in financial services. Really interesting. What are some of your thoughts on the direction that Dell's going? So I've been, I've been taking a little bit of a different angle on this since I've been here, prowling around, looking under the covers, to get an understanding of the advances in hardware that are driving the top line value proposition. So here it's appropriate to talk about things like retail at the edge and the experience that that delivers to an end user customer. Dell is still doing, however, the really hard work of optimizing systems on the back end, the stuff that a lot of people would say they don't care about. The idea is Dell makes sure that this development happens so people at the edge don't have to care about it. So, so that's the thing that I find fascinating being a kind of an old school hardware guy myself, is that all these really cool things aren't getting talked about because we don't need to talk about them because Dell has it handled. So whether it's, whether it's retail, uh, whether it's uh, uh, advances in security, uh, they're all driven by highly optimized and tuned hardware. You mentioned partners. Um, partnerships that Dell has behind the scenes are critical to all of that. I mean, I think the big thing about Dell, too, is they have a co-chairman. Um, they have Chuck Witten, a co-chief operating officer, uh, Jeff Clark, uh, Chuck Witten's new, uh, came from Bain, and you got two co 
COOs, right? Right. So you got a, a fledging company, Dell's growing, and the, and the big question is M and A, right? Dave and I were talking about that last night with a bunch of folks in the in the hallway about who does Dell buy? Do they need to buy anyone, right? And again, uh, hardware is back. I mean, you look at what we talked about yesterday in our wrap up. Day one was essentially hardware is becoming more important. And even at Amazon reInvent, when we were covering that show, the role of silicon plays a huge role. Now they run hardware in the cloud, so um, we all know hardware is just servers somewhere in the cloud there. So I think hardware is going to be huge, David, because you know, Edge needs more smaller, faster, cheaper boxes to sit in Colo. Uh, Equinix was on yesterday. Um, you're seeing like, 5G edges deploying. So I think hardware is going to matter. I think you're going to see the home become much more device centric, smarter devices, so smart city, smart homes. Hardware matters more than ever. Yeah, yeah, well, and, and from an acquisition perspective, who knows, maybe Dell would acquire VMware. <laughs> crazier things have happened. That's or true. VMware could acquire or Dell. Yeah, crazier things have happened. <laughs> Dave would argue that one. <laughs> So, so the hardware, hardware's back, back again. It makes me think of that Eminem song, Slim Shady. I think we need to do some sort of parody on that <laughs> together. But what does that mean for, for the partner community? There are over 200,000 partners we can talk about. Yeah. VARs, DISTs, GSIs, data center, the hyperscalers, the partner yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the partner story is, I think, more important than ever, and you're seeing more ecosystems develop around companies that you wouldn't think have ecosystems. That's because with cloud and now the cloud operating model, which is on-premise and edge, you can do piece parts of solutions, and, and the glue layers, the abstraction layers in software at scale are now available, so it's easier for customers to buy point solutions or platforms and put them together it more than ever before. You're seeing the headless retail as an example, uh, a trend that's happening. You're seeing, look at, look at uh, in the, in the uh, consumer market, ghost kitchens, ghost retail. So you're starting to see delivery, and so at the consumerization of IT is happening, you're going to see more and more custom applications that are taking advantage of stacks that are configured either on the fly or you know, with multiple partners. So I think you're going to see you know, the big players like AWS, uh, uh, Microsoft, Dell, have real big ecosystem players, and that's going to be a huge trend, continuing. So today, Michael Dell's coming on in just minutes. Chuck Witten is also on, Jeff Clark. What are some of the things that you really want to dig into with these guys, John? Well, the big thing I want to ask him is how their strategy and operations fit into how their customers are consuming. Uh, Dell's got a huge customer base. I want to find out how their, how their solutions are being operationalized by the customers. And that's going to be coming, poking at the cloud a little bit and see how real that's going. Apex has been very popular, the security story. I also want to ask about the changing workforce because the IT departments of the old, those folks are aging out. So a new generation of IT is coming together and I think those folks want things easy, push button, easy button, dashboards, They've never, maybe not even racked a server before. So, completely different new generation. And I see how that impacts the, uh, how they make products. Good point. We saw some of that in the keynote this morning. They were showing some of the gaming um, opportunities. Dave and I were in there this morning and what they're doing for that. And the gamers are all very excited about that. But the connected home was yeah. something that they were talking about. Yeah, yeah. Who knew you could make a, a, you know, a trackpad on a laptop more exciting? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's brilliant, right? They, you know, controls for, uh, you know, for uh, home video conferencing built in. Um, it, it just shows that, again, kind of at that hardware level where people think, ah, it doesn't matter. No. There's a lot of room for innovation there. And back to the discussion of, around partners, um, much like the big cloud players depend upon systems integrators out in the marketplace, in order to deliver these solutions to end user customers, the channel's going to be incredibly important. And I know that Dell is putting a lot of effort behind that right now. That's pretty clear. Yep, yeah. we've seen a lot yeah. of that. So exciting stuff today. I mentioned the three guys, three only of the many folks that are coming on the show today. We've got Allison Dew tomorrow, some other heavy hitters. Guys, looking forward to great day two, full coverage. Stay with us. We've got a lot of content coming at you from theCUBE, live from the show floor of Dell Technologies World 2022 from the Venetian in Las Vegas. Stick around, Michael Dell will be up next with John and Dave.